calling him a kafir to get his attention and our attention. Oh, but follow me for new daily reminders. Daily reminders? Oh, what the hell are you going to remind me about? That if I slip up, you're going to come after me? No, thank you. Oh, kafir, I'm going to destroy this kafir. I'm going to prove you, disprove you, kafir. A moment ago, he was your brother. Now, he's kafir. Focus on what you don't have doubts about. Do you believe in Allah? Yes. Do you believe in his messenger? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Yes. You're good. This is a game. Social media is just a challenge. Who can cap more? This is advice to content creators out there, whoever. You need to actually spend time developing your faith off this camera. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Um, it's strange, isn't it? We live in some weird, weird times, bro. You know, back in the day when you wanted some knowledge, you had to like get off your ass for a second. Go get on your, 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 your animal, your conveyance, sacrifice a little bit, leave your house for a few days and travel. And you see, the, the, the benefit of the knowledge wasn't just in acquiring the knowledge, it was in the journey to get to the knowledge because by the time you got to the knowledge, you learned a lot about yourself. You were on this path of self-discovery. You, you became even more hungry for that knowledge. Today, we're, there's no time to think. We're just Googling things. I mean, I'm about to give you a, a name of Allah that I Googled. I'm like, what should be a good name that I can give you? Being that Ramadan is only, what, 67 days away, depending on when you're watching or when I upload this video. Ramadan is approaching soon. And this name is special because it allows us to never, ever take our faith for granted. TikTokers like this brother and other TikTokers will emerge more. It's going to come more. There's going to be a wave. There's a wave of them coming. But we're also becoming more of a foam of the sea. It's coming. But this doesn't mean he's evil or he's bad or, oh, kafir. That's what you want to say to him? That's what this has become. It's just become this giant drama pool. Someone saying that they have, they're struggling in their faith, that they're not understanding what a hadith is saying or a verse of Quran is saying, instead of like, whoa, bro, hey, let's, let's turn all this, this garbage off and let's talk one to one. What's up? How are you? Are you all right? No. We want to take that as an opportunity to get clout ourselves. Here's how. First, let's let's let today's name is more important. Today's more name more is more important. This name is going to change your life, inshallah. Today's name, the 99 names of Allah, is Al Mu'min. Al Mu'min. This name isn't just like you know when we say Mu'min, it means believer or something. No, 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 no. This name is the meaning Allah is the one who instills the faith. Anyone could say they believe. Oh, I believe. I believe. I'm a Muslim. I'll take the shahada. Let's, let's go take a shahada. Let's go counter shahada. Do you know how many people in Dawa organizations and people just do, uh, they, they take a shahada from a person, but they never even check in with them? Your brother's one of them. I'm not pointing at them. I'm pointing these fingers right back at me. It's me. I'm the fraud, not them. Uh, it's me. We get these shahadas. We're collecting shahadas, and no one really checks in on them. No one really checks in on them. Because they were good for a video of you. That's the truth of the matter. Stop lying. Stop it. It was good for a view and now they're gone. So that's it. It's disgusting. Al-Mu'min is the one who instills the faith. Not just placing it there with Iman. With also Aman. Meaning security. He's securely planting the faith. Not at a shallow level. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instruct us? Don't say you believe yet. Say you've submitted. I've submitted. I don't even know if I believe yet. I believe. You know what I believe in? I believe in Allah and His Messenger. And for some, that's enough. For some, you got to understand, everyone's at a different level of learning. Some of you guys love Islam so much that you just want to jump straight into a deep end. For some, that's good. For some, have that, that, that urge, that curiosity. For others, it's not good. For others, less is more. But the problem with the internet, and, and it, the internet is awesome. YouTube is I couldn't do this without the internet. Islam could spread because of the internet, these tools. But the issue becomes with us is that all the knowledge we're learning is just shallow. It's surface level. 
You understand? It's shallow. It's not real knowledge. And I'm not saying you got to go sit with scholars and go to Medina University or go to Egypt or some, some institute, some madrasa to study. I'm not saying that. I'm saying demonstrate mastery over what you've learned. Think about this. How many pillars are there in Islam? Five. Okay. Hmm. For the majority of Mecca, what is that, 13 years or so? It was only focused on one. One pillar. It's towards the end where we learn about Salah after Israt al Miraj. But for the most of it, it was just understanding, developing the love and concern of Allah before adding anything else. Look how Allah developed the most important thing. He was instilling the seed in people first. Now because we have everything in one shot, we just get overwhelmed with knowledge. It's like we're binge, binge watching knowledge or binging knowledge. I don't know. So this brother and other brothers like him, they realize that, hey, whoa, I just tapped into an audience that never existed before. It's the truth. It's the truth. I'm not saying that Allah cannot lead you towards Islam with these things. I'm not saying that doing a reaction video can't have been the way that Allah led you towards His faith. Um, look, we have examples of people who they've watched some Adhan video or reacting to Muslim this and that, and then all of a sudden they, they get inspired. But let's also not see the other duality of this where you know that you're, you're tapping into a new audience, a new market. Your views have increased significantly. So what do you do as any good content creator would do? They double and triple down on what is working. Stop it. Stop this bullshit game of, oh no, I'm doing it. For, like, cut it out. You're talking to someone who does this, man. Cut it out. And this is, no one's going to openly admit it because it's a, it's a hidden truth. But it's not hidden. It's out in the open. Now, I'm not saying your intentions can't be purified. I'm not saying this. But people jump on, on the wave, on the bandwagon. It's a real thing. Now, it's, it's two parts, right? If done correctly, this could be really instilling the faith in a person. It could really be something good causes them to explore Islam. And there's so many people who accept Islam because of this. But you also got to acknowledge that there's certain people who can be corrupted by the shaitan to do other stuff. You know what I mean? And they just do it for views. I'm not saying anyone that you know is doing it, but I'm saying it's a reality that you got to cross out. you got to think of that reality. A person like this brother, cactus boy, baby, what is this? I don't even know. Someone told me about this. And then someone sent me a video about it. Someone is trying to get clout from this man supposedly leaving Islam. Calling him a kafir to get his attention and our attention. Swipe right for, for more about this. Follow me. What? <laughs> That's the zamana we're in, guys. I've been a part of it. Who are you kidding, SQ? Adam Saleh does this. Oh, someone does that. Oh, SQ, jump on it. Oh, um, please, bro, please. I've been there. I know what it is. I know what it is. You get a thousand views before, you put someone else's name, it's two thousand views doubled. Oh, come on. Come on. Now, I'm not saying you can't use real events, real, real, real situations and circumstances to teach a deeper, more, more, more meaningful lesson. But you have to do that consciously. Most people will jump on a topic just so that they can ride the wave, not really purify the intentions. And I'm being honest with you. I've been there. I've struggled with this. I've battled with this. Other people won't admit it. But that's why you watch me. You want to see how I'm dressed? I, don't, I haven't even brushed my teeth this morning. Like, I don't give a damn. Your favorite person won't even take off his hat. And you want to take knowledge from this person when this person can't even look themselves in the mirror, turn on a damn camera without wearing a hat? It's a mask. It's not a hat. It's a mask. I used to wear them. It was called sunglasses. Took it off. I want you to see me for who I am. A sinner. Someone who struggles with their faith. If you're struggling with your faith, what should it be? Announced? Announce it to people? Oh, you hear someone struggling? Kafir! You sound possessed and disgusting. Kafir! Oh, Kafir! I'm going to destroy this Kafir! I'm going to prove you, disprove you, Kafir! A moment ago, he was your brother. Now, he's Kafir! 
here. Oh. Oh, but follow me for new daily reminders. Daily reminders. Of, what the hell are you going to remind me about? That if I slip up, you're going to come after me? No, thank you. No, thank you. Please. Please, no, thank you. I, I, oh. The problem is we want to seek more knowledge, but we're not demonstrating mastery on this. We have to submit to Al-Mu'min. We're Abdul Mu'min. We're up the we're slaves of him, guys. Slaves, your servant. You have to understand, you know, all this these problems that people are having with the hadith, it's because it's not about context, it's about level of certainty and readiness. I can tell you some things about the Quran right now. That if you don't have the right amount of faith, that that, that it would wobble you. It would wobble you. How the Quran was compiled, it would wobble you if you didn't have the right faith. Certain hadiths, how they're compiled, how certain hadiths that we use today, certain hadiths that you're not even ready to look at. Because if you looked at it, you'd be like, yo, what does that mean? You're not ready for it. You're not ready for it. And that's okay. That doesn't mean the hadith is wrong, the Quran is wrong. It means you and I are not mature enough for that subject yet. You're still on pre-algebra, yet you're trying to take calculus. You haven't even mastered fractions, and yet you're on pre-algebra. You haven't even understood what ratios and proportions are, yet you're trying to do something major. You're not ready. But you've attributed that to, oh, I've left the faith. I don't believe in the faith anymore. I don't agree with this. Have you ever thought that you're just not ready for that knowledge yet? You're not, your brain is not ripe. It's not there. What percentage of our brain do we use? They say 10% or so. Allah knows how much we need to be using. He knows how much would be too much for us. Allah has created us. What doubts do you really have? If, if anyone out there is struggling with doubts, listen to this advice. You want to know this advice? It's simple. Focus on what you don't have doubts about. Do you believe in Allah? Yes. Do you believe in His Messenger? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Yes. You're good. You're good. That's all you need. That's all you need to know. Focus on that. Do you believe that you should be praying your five daily prayers? Yes. That's all you need. That's all you need. Take it one step at a time. Perfect that which we need to perfect. Allah is going to question us on the day of judgment about our salah. Our feet won't move. Is He going to question us about the hadith we read? Or about, about, about something that was out of our control? No. But you know what He will question us about? The knowledge we had and didn't act upon it. Wallahi, that hadith, that knowing that you will be questioned in that way should make us all second guess how much knowledge we really have, how much knowledge you really want to acquire. Because the more you acquire, the more you are responsible for. That doesn't mean abandon knowledge so you can stay ignorant. It means take it at a microdosing level, microdose on Islam. They use the word microdose for something else. But microdose on Islam for a second, man. Take it at one step at a time. Perfect what you're learning and then add more. Then add more. The biggest mistakes that I've ever made in my life is thinking that I know it. And I was ready for something when I wasn't ready for something. And I got thrown in really, really deep waters. And I wasn't ready for that. So instead... Why don't you, you know, like you go on a beach, if you've ever been on a beach, right? At first, the water's like at your toes, then it goes to your ankles, then it goes to your thing, and the da da da. And you keep walking down, and before you know it, you're like going, oh, you see, oh, okay, it's an elevator. I right, let me just do it. Going down the steps, no, I'm joking, I can't do that. But you get what I mean. You, you walk with it smoothly. The problem is, people just want to belly flop into eight feet water deep when they haven't even mastered, they're still wearing floaties, man. Come on, take your time with the knowledge. And out there, stop being opportunistic people. Stop being an opportunistic person. Someone left and you want to like criticize them and do that. Bro, turn this garbage off and check up on your brother. This way of fighting style is not new. I, at first, I was attributing it to the first two people that I remember fighting on this, which was Ali Dawa and Dawa Man. And honestly, I remember, this is when I wasn't even on YouTube. This is like back when. And I was just so embarrassed. Like that was embarrassing. Not only was it a fitna because it caused a divide 
between two people and two people who follow them and follow them and they just keep their divide. You guys remember, you know what I'm talking about. But people have used that as a magic formula to, to gain clout. Because you see, when you're able to take down someone and destroy them, it's like a war. When you battle them and you destroy them and their army retreats, they leave a booty or spoils of war, which is the name of a surah, isn't it? The spoils of war. And what you do is you take those spoils of war. And what are their spoils of war? Their followers. Boom. So it's in my best interest to take down an Adam Saleh. It's in my best interest. I'm trying to gain clout. Oh, this guy, he's big on, on TikTok right now. Cactus boy, let me take him down because all those followers who are already against him, they'll know that I am against him too. And now I'm going to get your followers all. This is a game. This is a game. Social media is just the challenge. Who can cap more? Who can cap more? That's the reality of it. The more you can cap, the better it is. If I could show you a picture with Habib. Oh, I'm in freaking Dubai. But you don't want to know about the fight that I have with my wife in Dubai? Oh, you don't want to know about that. It's fake. It's all BS. We only show you what we want to show you. We come on the screen when our hair is nice. Not when we haven't brushed our teeth. We come when, when, when we look good. Come on. We should be hiding each other's sins. Covering up for each other. But by the way, that YouTube thing between Ali Dawa, that's not the first time. This has happened in the Muslim history, guys. Look what they did to Uthman radiallahu an. When they separate between Uthman and Ali radiallahu an. Look at that fitna. Look at that fitna. It's no different. It's at a lower level, but it's no different. Because what was it that the people were after? Dunya, greed, arrogance, ego. They started worshipping their own nafs and self and started submitting to the Most High. Who's going to be under Allah's shade? on the Day of Judgment. Tell me seven categories. One of the categories is the two brothers, two people who love each other for the sake of Allah. They meet and depart on that. That doesn't mean they agreed on everything. That doesn't mean they see eye to eye on everything. It means that when it comes to our differences, screw that. That's between us. But I love you for the sake of Allah. And I'm going to meet and depart on that level. Now, me, me and you might not see it. I like vanilla. You like chocolate. Wonderful. But I love you for the sake of Allah. We're going to be on that same, same path on the day of judgment. Raised up. Naked. And brought in front of Allah. And hopefully we see each other under that throne. And we would hug each other, bro. If I saw you, someone had beef with, but we were safe together, I'd hug you. Because that day we're all friends. We're all friends. So, listen guys, I think I just stepped on something that can cut my foot. Let me hold on. This is, ah! Stop taking this whole social media and TikTok thing so seriously. You understand? It, it, like, you need to develop your faith. Not, And this is advice to content creators out there, whoever. You need to actually spend time developing your faith off this camera. Not trying to get that extra Muslim view. <sighs> Where do I even begin with this? I have so many things to say. It's getting too long. I'm not going to do this to you. I, I used to give you really, really long videos. I've sort of chilled out with that because you guys got better things to do. Ramadan is coming along. Uh, start preparing for that. Start preparing for that. I hope this video brought you some benefit. And I hope people can just... If you, got, if you are not able to bring someone value to help them, to, 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 to bring value, to ease their pain, to do something that would allow them to benefit... If you can't bring any value to them, it's best that you get out of their way. Remain silent. That's the narration, right? We're still on the basics, but people want to dive into deeper hadith. You haven't even mastered the Nawabi 40. You haven't even mastered them, but you want to dive into some hadith that you can't even understand. And then because you don't understand it, I don't agree with it. You're arrogant. You're arrogant. And this is not directed to the TikTok lad. It's directed to anyone, me included. Not everyone is at that scholarly level. We have to understand things at our own level and understand the tafsir behind things, the wisdom behind things. And it's not for everyone. So if people need to remember to not only just stay in your lane, but if Allah has made a lane for you, why don't you just appreciate that? And you know what? 
That's why I appreciate and respect Jay Palfrey or whatever his name is. That's a good brother. I don't mean like whatever his name is like, oh, like, like, that's a good, that seems like a really, really good brother, right? Because he's having fun with his faith. He's exploring it more. He's diving into different cultures. Wow. That's what, that's it. He's not here trying to preach to you guys. He's not trying to do, he's just like, wow, like, let me just explore this Islam thing a little bit more. Let me just explore, you know, the different types of Muslims I might meet in Pakistan. I might meet over there. I might meet over there. I, that's cool. But you know, it just shows you when people are genuinely sincere about these things, Allah just guides them straight through. For others, it's tough. You know what I mean? I said it was going to end. This is too long. Love you all for the sake of Allah. Till next time, I'm out.